Hey pool fans, welcome back to my channel and another episode. In today's episode, I'm going to show you two safety shots you may not have seen. These two shots are very important. It's like a percentage way of playing a safety shot. It's just as important to know these safety shots as well as potting, running the table, the break shot and all the other things that happen in a game of nine ball pool. Let's get into today's lesson. Shot one. This is what we've been left with. Our opponents made a mistake. We come to the table. What are our options? There's no bank shot. The nine ball is in the way. We've got a bank shot in this pocket, but the seven's on this side of the table. We're trying to cut it back. Not easy at all. Very difficult shot. Percentage wise, doesn't offer much in our favor. So what do we look at here? The obvious shot is to try and chip off the seven Get a good cue ball on this rail and try and keep the seven around here. But where the nine ball is sat, it's a small ball. What we mean by that is we've got to literally land in the ball's width length to get the hook. If it was here, the cue ball can't get past. We've got probably two or three balls. That's what we mean by a small ball and a big ball. So I'm going to just have a quick go. Bear in mind I don't like this shot. I wouldn't play this shot. But I just want to see what the outcome is. So we're trying to get a good cue ball. No, it doesn't feel nice this at all. I've hit it way too thin, but I didn't like it. And this is what I'm saying. Don't scratch. Let's just say if it stayed there. I've put the seven in a wide open spot. Didn't like it from the minute I tried it. Let me show you what you could do. We're going to go rail first. The reason for this is the percentages are in my favour playing this shot. We've already alluded to the fact that the bank shot's very difficult. The nine ball's in the way for this bank and the safety shot is very difficult because the nine is in more of the centre of the table as opposed to close to the rail. Rail first, chance to pocket it in the corner. If not, it'll come off the side rail and back into the middle of the table. It's what we call a containing safety shot. But the biggest thing is, percentages are in your favour. So let's have a go and see how shot one goes. So we're playing it with right spin, as you can see from the cue ball. And you want to play it with a bit of decent pace. And there you see, that's not too bad at all. A little bit more pace or a little thicker. Might have got the seven more out. But that's pretty good. I'm stood behind this shot. That is very thin to pocket. Cue ball wouldn't be easy. It's a containing safety shot. The odds are on your side. And there's always a chance that you can pocket it in the corner and stay at the table. Let's have another go. So I've set the same shot up, exactly the same position. And the reason why I'm going to have another shot at this to show you guys, that was a one take wonder. But I just want to show you what happens because I'm not always going to play the shot like I just did correctly. But it's about percentages. So here we go. Take two. And there you see, again, that's a little bit better. It's further out into the middle. But you can see that's just two shots straight off the bat. That is a fantastic safety shot to have in your locker. It really is. Get practicing that one, guys. Safety shot number two. We're hooked on the five ball. Full ball hooked, as you can see by our lovely picture. And the six ball is up here. That is our next ball after the five. So what do we do? We haven't got the angle to pot the five off the rail, we would have to swerve round because we'd have to hit this point to find the potting angle. And even if we did manage to swerve round and do that, the cue ball is going to stay around the bottom end of the table and we're not going to get on this lovely green six because it's on the top rail. We could kick off the back rail. Let's have a look at that. Kicking off the back rail doesn't look like anything good's going to happen just because of where the balls are sat. Often you see the guys, girls kicking at the balls and they know something good can happen because of where the balls are situated. So let's just give this a bit of a crack off two rails. Yeah, and nothing can happen. A little bit fortunate where it's gone, but it's no good. They could see off the back rail, balls are not situated in a good position. Before I move, before I move on, blah, 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 before I move on to the shot, I'm going to show you 
let me know if you are one of these in the comments. Are you a ball banger? Would you do this? Be honest. Well, I didn't want the cue ball to fly off and nearly smash my door, but are you a ball banger? If you are, write in the comments, hashtag ball banger. Now let's get to the shot that I feel is a very, very good shot and it stacks up in your favour. We talk about percentages all the time. This is what professional pool players are looking for all the time. Now and again, we'll lose the plot and be a ball banger, don't get me wrong, but percentage pool is what we're after. So I'm going to have a walk around this side of the table. I'm going to try and pick my point here because after the cue ball has hit this rail, I want to flick the five ball. Why do I want to flick the five ball? The five ball is going to come off this rail towards the short rail, safe, okay? And the cue ball is going to come around the table. We're not 100% certain where the cue ball is going to go. It could end up here, it could end up here. We want to get a good five ball. We want to create distance. Let's have a go. So it's a little bit of swerve because I've got to find the angle because I'm full ball hooked. Oh, Carlito, stop it. Look at this. We've hit it absolutely perfect. Flicked it off the side rail, dead on the bottom rail, good cue ball. I know what you're thinking, Carlito. That was pure luck, shot one. And we'll have another go. This is what I do, just to show you the percentage side of these shots that I'm attempting. This is very, very difficult because the natural line I'm taking is, is here. If I don't play any swerve or write English, I'm just going to miss the five altogether. So there's a lot more skill in this shot, but I've still visioned the shot I'm trying to play. I know the percentages are on my side, so let's have another go. Oh, we've done it again. Stop it. This time, the five is not dead on the bottom rail. But it's good. We've been more than happy with that. After the situation I was in, to play that shot and leave my opponent this shot, I'd be more than happy. Would you? Two fantastic safety shots for you pool players to start working on. If you have seen them shots... Let me know in the comments. If you haven't, also let me know what you thought of them two safety shots. Practice them, try them out, see the results. Don't just practice them for half an hour. Practice them time and time again over the case of months and years. And what you will see is these shots will come up and also shots very similar. And that is the difference. You're gonna to start to see all these shots start piecing together in the game of pool. And then when you can start perfecting them, a little bit like I just did, your game is going to shoot through the roof. Guys, girls, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. As soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, the Predator Air Rush will be giving away completely free. It's worth 600 US dollars, 599 to be precise. One of you lucky 10,000 subscribers will win this queue. Hit the like, share, do all that. If you don't, just don't. It is what it is. I'll see you soon.